Morticians and Allied Professionals Associations of Kenya has expressed strong condemnations of Inspector General Jafet Kome over his recent remarks concerning the alleged involvement of politicians in hiring dead bodies in mortuaries and presenting them as, as victims of police brutality during the anti-government demonstrations led by Azmio leader Raila Odinga. Against President William Ruto's government and Kenya Kwanza, the same sentiments were echoed by Matungulu Member of Parliament Stephen Mule. Rida Chabet gives us more. And I want to address IG Kome. Matungulu Member of Parliament Stephen Mule has dared Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome to show public the dead bodies he alleged as Mule Moja rented for use during protests. You went publicly indicating that when Kenyans demonstrated peacefully, some of the leaders went to hire cops from mortuaries. You are in charge of a very huge docket called police. As Honorable Moshimi Wamule, I want to demand today, please give us the names of those who hire the cops the names of those who were hired when they were dead and the mortuaries which the dead were beat. This comes even as the morticians and allied professionals association of Kenya strongly criticized Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome for his recent comments. <laughs> Kome had suggested that politicians were using deceased individuals from mortuaries, falsely portraying them as victims of police brutality during protests. See the members of uh, the society going to mortuaries, hiring dead bodies, calling media, telling media that these people were killed by police officers. How low can our sub of our leaders sink? In a statement released to news outlets on Wednesday, the morticians denounced the Inspector General's remarks as unjust and damaging to their professional reputation. They emphasized their unwavering dedication to upholding ethical standards and the rule of law. The statement read, quote, We reject the statement made by Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jafet Kome, as we firmly believe that no mortuary professional in Kenya today will engage in such actions, the association asserted. The office of the Inspector General is such a respected office to even attempt to lower it to such unimaginable actions. We work very closely with the police service in our day-to-day -day operations and believe that this position we are taking is well known to the Inspector General, unquote. Una, 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 unataka, mimi, unipige mawe, na mwaga ndamu, niko na bunduki, alafu ni kuambie ndugu yangu kuja tusalimiane. Ah, vana, nita kundumia. The association has called on IG Kome to provide evidence supporting his statements and ensure that anyone responsible for such actions faces legal consequences. And it is actually very disappointing to see a statement from Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kome, saying that we hired dead bodies <laughs> to uh, accuse police of brutality. I don't know in which world he lives. Because the bodies we've been burying have bullet wounds. If he fails to do so, they have demanded that he retract his remarks as these comments are damaging to their reputation and profession. Extrajudicial killings have become a contentious battleground where politicians and National Police Service members tread accusations, often resorting to outrageous claims. And to Mr. Ruto himself, you can only stand up and congratulate the police for having done a wonderful job before you get into the mortuary of just one hospital. If you look at the atrocities that have happened, Right from Busia, all the way to Kisi, Migori, Sierra, with the epicenter in Kisumu, I want to ask you, genocide or not genocide? You might be with the guns, but I tell you as a Muslim who prays five times a day, I don't have a gun, but my prayer will go through. It will hurt you more than the guns of hurt our people. You kneel before God every morning. You kneel before God every evening. This evening when you go down to kneel and pray, remember who you are. When you are a professor, I'm 
The latest statement being that of Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome, who claimed that police officers killed no one in Kisumu during the anti-government protest staged by Azimio coalition. Instead, Aji Kome shifted the blame to politicians who he accused of doing everything in their power to taint the image of the police. And the information I have is they go to some of the mortuaries, compromise the workers there, people even who died of uh, some illness, people who died maybe out of a, an accident or other causes, they take photographs of such bodies and blame on police. Kome's assertions are a contradiction to the account given by a civil society group, which observed that at least 30 people were brutally murdered, some of who had already submitted to the police. <laughs> on Wednesday, August 9th, the Liberal Democratic Party, LDP, appealed to President William Ruto to sack the Inspector General of Police, noting that the claim by Kome that the opposition hired bodies to gain political sympathy is sad, disrespectful, inhumane, and is an insult to the bereaved families. So these are real, real deaths of human beings. Police brutality during the demonstrations has been condemned by Kenyans, religious groups, and the international community. <laughs> ati ukiambia vijana waende wavamie kituo cha polisi watupe moyo kwa police station ati unaniambia ningoje tu uchukue bunduki zangu unajitanganya the statement by Jafet Kome is not only reckless but is also an indication that Kenya has become a police state the international criminal court icc prosecutors visit to Kenya i know your visit amounts to investigating into crimes against humanity. As you are aware, that our people were killed, they were butchered, they were tortured, murdered in large numbers. And I want to advise you that Karim Khan, you are not the best person to investigate into this matter because of conflict of Interest. This statement has sparked criticism from a segment of the political community with the opposition urging Aji Kome to retract his statement and issue an apology to the citizens of Kenya. Kama kiongozi wa inzi, hafai kuongea hivyo. Hakuna mwenyana wapenda mtoto wake, hauliwe stylia. Mtoto wangu, watoto wangu wakutolewa, wakua wagonjwa, hakuna siku wa maila na kwa sitani. Mtoto wangu walikuwa wazima, walitolewa kwa nyumba wakapigwa, wakapelewa kwa barabara, wakatolewa kwa barabara, wakarisho kwa nyumba kama wajiezi kabisa. Wapandi wa watoto zangu, na amba justice itendeke mara moja, na kaome ya kome mdomo yake. Asiongei vya onge kama mtu mkubwa, kama mtu mzima. Hakuna mtu anaweza tarajia mtu waki ya kufe. Alete kutoka mog tena arudishe. So we are really bitter on what IG said yesterday. You are a person to protect us. Now if you are talking that way to, to us, then we feel bad, we feel that we are negle neglected as a, a community. So kindly, before you utter any statement, I'm talking to you directly. Before you utter any statement, please seek clarification from real people. For Masha Prime, Masha Television, I'm Rida Chibet Kering.